Yeah, it, it, but it really truly is the worst that uh, they're starting a rec they're starting the construction upstairs like right when we're starting the stream. Anyways, let's go. Finally, play through for December twenty seven, ten a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. You don't have to read all of that. Every day. I will do it, and you cannot fucking stop me. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Again. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Very well, apparently the prosecution is also ready, I think. Who is the judge here anyway? Not that old guy, he doesn't do judge shit. Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, very well, no opening statement. Not so fast, judge. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. Listen, I hate this guy, but he's a very, he's like a cartoon villain. It's, it's so right, of course. My apologies, Mr. Von Kama, God Emperor of Mankind. The prediction. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Oh, I wish. I wish. Order, order! Mr. Von Karma, what's the meaning of your statement just now? Uh, must you question everything? It'll be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. I'll call my witness now. R right. I call my witness, my decisive witness, to the stand. Noodle man, noodle man, does whatever a noodle man can. Witness, state your profession. Uh, 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 for a platter at a restaurant of a wet noodle at Gourd Light. And I also went both. But not of the instant, you're in the boat rental shop, correct? Eh. Eh, I was. Please testify. Well, even animals, please. That's more polite than I expected from. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Ugh. I predicted his travel ended three minutes. Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. <laughs> The witness will state his name. Huh? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not really sure. That was real fucking convenient. What? What do you mean? My memory. Your Honor, the witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. Ego cannot recall his own name. You can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. You can testify. Very well. Let's hear his testimony then, shall we? Witness? That's fine, you can't do old man. It was the night of the 24th, just after midnight, you! I was in the restaurant where I wrecked boats, as usual. Then I heard a pop. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just uh, floating on a lake. Then I heard another pop. 
It's about then the bird goes back to shore and a man walks by my window. Very well, I'd like to begin the cross-examination. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. There is nothing to go. <laughs> there is nothing to witness. The question in my witness's testimony. I apologize, I forgot my own voice. There you go. No need for cross-examination. I have a job. Besides, only ten seconds left before three minutes are up. Judge, your verdict now! Uh, uh, yes. M -m -m Mr. Wright? I goddamn cross examine him. Am I right to do so as a goddamn boy? Uh, very well, you may be good. Jesus Christ. Uh, That's very uh, excuse me? Mr. Von Karma? Three minutes just passed. How is everyone just fine with this? Are we okay with this? Like, is this... Like, is this fine? I see. Well then, let's just take our time. Jesus Christ. I am so sorry for Nick, who is listening to this <laughs> with... And also you, Ari, who's listening to the horrific fucking drill noises that are coming from directly above my head. I literally do not care. And having a stroke. You may cross examine the witness. If they're not asleep again, anyway. Oh, hey, we're worried about they're not. Shut your mouth! Yep, by my window, right outside the window, my little shack. And, did you see the man's face? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Well, the front was pretty John Frick, but he was right there in front of me. I saw him. This is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. That man was the defense. He was saying, I can't believe he's dead. Um, the defendant. The defendant wasn't there, was he? Yeah, the defendant is Edgeworth, right? He said, I can't believe he's dead. He was walking back, too. Listen, guys, guys, he also just called me his son, so let's question his credibility, alright? I don't really care. Witness, are you sure that the person you saw was Miles Edgewood? <laughs> it was here, bad Edgewood for Oh, God, I broke my back! Well, rest in peace. This sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. Nick, I don't like the way things are going here. 
Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. Again! <laughs> Wait! Okay, first of all, how the fuck would he know it's Mr. Wright? Are you referring to the fingerprints of Edgeworth's right hand found on the gun? And the photograph showing a man firing with the left hand? Yes, thank you. That is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints after he fired. You are ignoring the truth of the matter here. No, you are. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. Hmm. Objection. Objection. Mr. Wright, the court of law, the evidence tells all. Apparently, you have yet to realize even this basic fact. If you say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? It's true. Nick, do we have evidence? Saying shit like that. Don't give up, big child. Uh, are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. But we're only like five minutes in. I'm not fucking giving up. Please. Can you hear me, sis? Please. We need your help. It needs you. Just don't pray in court, Maya. It's, it makes me look worse. Three minutes was perhaps too high an expectation. Oh, if 13 minutes isn't bad, this must be a new record. I hate you so much, sir. But I admire the hustle. Enough! The witness may leave the stand. No! no, no, no what the fuck? You know what? Fine, fine. You're not gonna say anything anyway. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. Nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. That is unfair. Case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the what fact. What the fuck do you mean? There was no proof. What the fuck? No. 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 Hmm. no. 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 The score fires the defendant, no. Mr. Miles Edgeworth. I object. The accused will surrender to the court immediately. You didn't even give me a chance. Be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's I'm date. Going to kill someone. What the fuck? That is all. This court is adjourned. Did I just fucking lose? Who? Uh, who was that just now? The drill above my head. That's what. Huh? Uh, Larry? This I was staying. I was staying quiet. I care for the A for dude! This, this guy just like, was he just like in the gym and just kind of like, like, flipped out? Like he just kind of jumped over and I'm like, what is it? Larry, what the fuck? What, what are you doing here? Listen! You gotta listen to me, man! Uh, I- I was... 
I was there at the park the night of a murder. I... I wasn't sure of that until just yesterday. But, but today I remembered it! Remembered... Remembered what? A gunshot! And your dad told me this yesterday. I heard it too! <laughs> uh, order! <laughs> what is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided! I call for adjournment! Yeah, I hate to say it, but finally it's coming through, right? One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So, you say you heard a gunshot. God bless this judge who doesn't know the law. Yeah, I did a gunshot that night! I was sitting here in the audience and listening to testimony. Then I realized something he said was different from what I remember. Anyhow, I can't just sit here and let you call Edgy a murderer. It's it's just not right. Wait, shut the fuck up. I don't need to call you a violent. I'll testify. Let me testify. I love how hilarious the entire existence is like. I he is saving my ass right now, but I fucking hate him for it. Order. Order. So oh. Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. Yeah, you keep saying that. I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Judge, you've already given your decision. The trial is over. Hello. This is it! Larry's giving us one final chance at this! Yeah, I can't believe it! Larry's the confirmance! Larry! Where's he Mr. Edgerton! Oh my god! I just- I just got the British accent, Nick! <laughs> Isn't that funky? <laughs> anyway... Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick! It doesn't get any worse! That is true, there's something wrong with the Alright, okay. Your Honor, if there's another witness, it is my duty that you can speak. Right here, right now! Live! The verdict cannot be overturned! Hmm. Alright, uh, allow me to speak my opinion. You have opinions? In all court proceedings, it is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure the mistake... In order to make sure no witness... No, no, oh my god. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. Where was this Fucking attitude hell. like three cases ago? Or two cases ago. Or any case that we've been through so far. Or literally like ten minutes ago. Yeah, like... I hate it here. What is this? A valid question. I hate to say it, but Von Karma has some, like, legit <laughs> objections here. I would draw my previous verdict of guilty, which by the way, fun fact, judges can actually do. Mr. Law facts with Ari. Miss Mr. Von Karma, there's a there's a very strict time limit on it. It is to allow for something called a outburst, which can actually be put into a court of law and be treated seriously. Oh, that's cool. Fun I order you to call this new witness to testify. Now! Hey! Hey, good for him. He's grown up back, but he's standing up for himself. What? <laughs> you got that one on you. <laughs> Fuck you, the court, will, the court will adjourn for a five minute recess. Oh, yeah. After that, we will hear this new witness. Everyone get your juice boxes and play on the playground. Court is adjourned.
Oh my god, Nick, there really is juice boxes! <laughs> oh yeah, free snacks. I mean, oh shit, Edge with some corn. <laughs> There's at the lake that day? Yeah. Are we gonna have a flashback? Yes, we are. He said you weren't looking for a steel samurai balloon that flew into the lake. Oh, right. Oh. Nick, I keep getting a British accent. I'm not sure where this is coming from. I think you're channeling the wrong kind of spirits, Maya. Right, sorry. I'm channeling the I'm channeling the spirit of the of the of the queen who died a month ago. Rip. Rip. And, and he found the balloon in the air tank that night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you say something right. Yeah, a lot of things. You see, Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something I've been to ask you. Why are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Valid question, Maya. Oh. Oh. When he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. I couldn't understand it. I mean, he, he just picks it up like, holy shit, someone just died from this thing. Like, I feel like that's valid. Yeah, I mean, I would do it too. I see. This is how to defend in court. Right. Yeah? This might be our chance. Our chance? For, for what? On Karma has only ever run perfect trials. Oh yeah, I was, my mind went somewhere else. Perfect trials? Perfectly prepared witnesses. Perfectly complete evidence. That's the secret to his success. This is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. In 40 years? That's wild. Damn. He has to yeah, he's like... He hasn't even talked to testify before the court. That's someone is Larry. Yeah, I get what you're saying. No, I completely get what he's saying. It's probably his testimony won't be full of holes, right? That's right, Nick. No 10 minute trial this time. What about this one for all it's worth? Yeah, I've stolen from time. I'm good at it. It's 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Everything is over. Oh, God. Yeah, dude, it's my feet now! Larry Butts! Larry Butts! Larry oh Butts! God. Larry Butts! I can't believe everything's on Larry. We're so fucked. His dumb and smells is probably me! Why do you- Why do you say that in the middle of a court? Anyway, uh, witness. Please testify to court about everything that you saw. On the night of December 21st. Four. Well, like oh my god. <laughs> Right, leave it to me! I can just see the audience just like staring at this man like, what the fuck? Is this real? Is this a lie? I hate to admit it, but you're our last chance. Like, I really hate to admit it. Like, this is a nightmare scenario. <laughs> That night, I was out in a boat on the lake. I was looking for something, and I found it. Larry, your fucking still samurai hot dog business is not as important as a corn case business, Larry. 
So I quietly slipped the book back in at the rental shop dock. Then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang! I looked out over the lake, but I didn't see a boat. So after I heard that single gunshot, I went home. Oh yeah! Man contradicted this evidence like at least three times. We got something. We got something. Thank you, Larry. Uh -huh. That was an unusually vague testimony, even for this court. No, also, actually, I have to put on like way. seven... I have to put on like seven different deep male voices. They are all starting to mix together. It's fine. It just has to vaguely sound like a human being, and I'm fine with it. <laughs> Get on to the next thing. You alright? You heard me. I didn't, but you know. Yes, your honor. What's wrong, Nick? Everything. Also, I think the judge turned also I think the judge turned into a xenomorph for a few seconds there. <laughs> uh let's not mention that. It's Larry, I have no idea what he's going to say if I press him. But he won't into lie in court when Ed dressed about to go to jail. I gotta trust him on at least that front. I'm a little scared, but you know. Gotta have faith, it couldn't get worse. Maya? Maya? Maya! Maya! What? Oh! Oh god! Shit, sorry! Well, we've come this far, there's no way to go but forward, Nick. Yeah, we're no way to go but up. We're already <laughs> Okay, now I don't have to say anything. <laughs> I think so. But wait a sec, Larry. What? Okay, that is really loud up there. Properly. You only heard one bang, you're sure? Oh, that's what I said! But Miss Lana Hart testified today that she heard two bangs. And the old man just now said the same thing. Both are two gun jumps in Huh? Even listening, you were in the journey, Larry. You didn't just know what they said. Yo, Nick, please! You know, somebody's been bothering me. I'm a witness, see? I'm like a customer here. So you gotta treat me like nice and stuff, okay? Larry, and Bruce about to go to jail. <laughs> like, buddy. <laughs> oh my Mr. Butt. What? You only heard one gunshot? Are you sure? I hope so. They're treating him as a less credible old man. I'm really lost. This is fucking I mean, he is. Uh, um, well, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Larry, I'm going to kill you. Eh? How could you not be sure? Yeah, well... I, uh... I might have missed you. Never got shot. I was, uh, listening to something else. What the fuck? My radio, dude! My headphones! This is the last day you've lived, Larry. Today's the day you die. Larry! <laughs> Larry, I'm going to jump over this fucking- Order! Order! And stop <laughs> booing! <laughs> the 
Sherry just goes, Boo! Fuck this guy! Fuck this dude! Why is he here? Boo! Oh, you stink! Mr. Butts! <laughs> you were listening to the radio with your headphones! We're all <laughs> British! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, I'm sorry, I just. British. I'm Everyone sorry, I just cussed in British when you run out of voices. <laughs> what is. I mean, this guy's always been old British, man. Incredible. Yeah, so what? About a crime? Lying in court is a crime, Larry. Also, uh, also, I, I'll have you know, I default to two things. Southern and British. Fuck you. Yeah, I could also tell that by the fact that Detective Gumshoe started sounding weirdly Southern for the last few minutes of the I, the I, I, I can't, I can't fucking remember the voice I did for him at first. Fuck you, fuck you leave me alone. Alright. I listen to my radio! Everybody listens to the radio. What's the big deal? You almost lied in court, Larry. That's the big deal. Mm. Mr. Von Karma, your opinion? Alright, so he's just British now. Got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding in laughs, so it's kind of hard. Okay, I have to... Waste of time. I do not accept his witness, nor his shoddy testimony. I hate to side with him, but yeah, Larry's not very reliable. Mm. Well, Mr. Wright, should he continue the testimony? I mean, he still could have heard something. Your Honor, please tell the evidence. I'm just excited. Uh. Hey, hey, I'm, hey, I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a, a cool, a, a cool tip. Yeah? You, you know how he squeezes his arm? Yeah? Pay attention to that. Yeah, I have been paying attention to all these fights. Like, okay. Listen, I have been. I noticed Nothing that Edgehog was right-handed. That's, like, the fucking thing that I was like, wait a fucking second. Is it the gun? Oh, like Jesus slams. Christ, you had to- Yeah, I realized it because he always slams the desk down with his right hand. And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure he held the gun with that hand, too. Nothing is more pitiful than a lawyer who doesn't know when he's lost! Speaking about yourself, huh? Very well, Mr. Butt. Please give your testimony and be sure to include details. Like your radio. <laughs> right, leave it to me, Larry Butt. I'm the most. I'm the bestest. Uh, I'm the bestest. I wonder if there were any other way out of this. Believe me, uh, I, this man is just so dumb. I I relate to him. And it's lonely being alone on Christmas Eve. I want to make fun of him for having no bitches, on, like, in court. <laughs> nope. Like, that no, no bitches. No, <laughs> no, no bitches. bitches. No maidens. <laughs> Fucking Megamind. No bitches. <laughs> well, that was why I was listening. Oh, that's why. Not that. That is why I can't fucking read. I don't know what that was. Uh, that's why I was listening to an all request show on the radio, see? I was listening to it real booming loud, like. But I'm sure I heard that gunshot. I remember exactly what the DJ was saying, but I heard it too. You were listening to your radio. A high volume! To be fair, gunshots are pretty loud. Maybe the gunshot was louder than the radio. My like, gunshots are real loud, so. And since he was in the water at that point, yeah, he, he would've probably would have heard it. Yeah, what the 
What's the big problem? Can't this man listen to this radio in peace? Isn't this a free country? That's not the point, Larry. I truly believe Larry has no idea what the problem here is. This man- There really isn't a problem. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, but, but I don't think he understands anyone else's logic either. Judge. Can you believe- Oh, fuck. <laughs> Volcomer just Sorry, breaks I... out of character. <laughs> this is just the voice he's putting on to be cool, and he just breaks out of character. He's like, can you believe this shit? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, Judge, you believe this shit right now, bro? Everyone's like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, hang on. I have to... <laughs> what he heard was probably nothing more than a drum beat from a radio. Drums don't sound like gunshots, really. Unless it's true like enough. Oh, true enough. It is difficult to believe his testimony. Objection! I have fucking object. Let me question him first. The witness said he remembers exactly what the DJ said when he heard the gunshot. Excuse me, DJ. Yeah, this is really. Oh, like that literally. DJ, like that DJ Khaled guy. Uh, sure, your honor. An announcer, the guy who says things on the radio. Anyways, what this means is when he heard the sound, no music was playing. Oh, that's- Wait, wait, wait! The... Wait, right, I- Right, I have to correct you on something. Correct me? DJ Coward- How- How- How would the, how would the judge know who DJ Coward is? That- This is like 15 years before that happens, dude. His mind- we can never understand it. <laughs> he's senile. He's, he's he's omnipotent, but also incredibly stupid. Those things anyway, can't exist. what this means is when he heard the music, no music was playing. When he heard the sound, no when he heard the music, he heard the music. Leave me alone. <laughs> Hey, you made fun of mine, I get to make fun of yours. Alright, fair. The DJ only talks between songs, so he could have heard the gunshot from the lake. I didn't know he was gonna make that argument, that's a fair point. Really yeah, that's actually really- Sometimes. I'd like to cross-examine a witness, your honor. Very well, Mr. Wright. Shit, I, I can't even deny anything that you just said. That, right. that just makes sense. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm continuing this charade. <laughs> <laughs> he's so confident, but inside he's like, Wow, that shit worked. Mm, mm, yeah, I'm listening to the radio. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 get it. Uh, oh, right, red cord. I heard, hang on. Mr. Wright, please cease these pointless questions. What possible good could knowing what a radio DJ said to us? Said to us. Oh my god, I can't read. Indeed, Mr. Von Karma has a point. I will have a question only. You see some reason why should we why we should care? Holy shit, I can't read! Eh, you're asking too much, but yeah, you should care. Why? Fine. Fine. Very well. Mr. Butts, please testify to the court. What was the radio announcer saying when you heard the gunshot? Just when she said, Hey, it's almost Christmas! I heard the gunshot!
No, that was the empty lake. If a gunshot, if a gunshot was shown, the the twenty fifth is Christmas. I'm pretty sure you do that one. Yeah, so I got but I could be one, wrong. Yeah, I'm trying to piece it together in my head. I know this is the one I got. So this, I'm guessing this is the one. This is the one. Yeah, because it was yeah that sounds about right. And that would have been Lada's uh, uh, thing. Yeah, that's why there's nothing. Sure, what you're saying is correct. Huh? What's with that face? It looks scary, dude. I'm trying to solve a murder. Hey, you're trying to scare me. You better know I don't scare that easy. Motherfucker, you look like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. I'm sure you would jump I like a my pants, dude. if you got scared. Is something the matter, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, did you hear what the witness just said? <laughs> the DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas when he heard the gunshot. Indeed. And? Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. <laughs> this is such... <laughs> I have to point this shit out. <laughs> the judge goes, what does that mean? <gasps> Do you realize what this means? I'm going to tell him. When he heard the gunshot, it was still Christmas Eve. That would seem to be the case, yes. I literally... I literally don't care. I care. Stop caring, bitch! I'm gonna shoot you with a gun! I'm sorry, I'm putting on a shirt. I'm getting out of bed since I feel less like death. Oh, Let's see what time was on the photo taken. What? Oh my god. Let me try that again. <laughs> Let's see what the time was on the photo taken when the gun triggered Mrs. Ott's camera. Oh my god, my best is I can hear it. That was honestly kind of terrifying. I'm not yeah, gonna lie like, to you. <laughs> no, it's just the neighbors having raw, unbridled sex. Horrific. I don't. Why would there be drills happening? I don't want to know. I don't want to know what goes on. Judge. Twelve twenty-five zero zero fifteen. 15 minutes after midnight on Christmas Day. Order! Order! What does it mean? The two prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, this says he heard a gunshot before midnight. Judge, the answer's simple. The current witness is frankly mistaken. The current... The current witness is plainly mistaken. Just look at him. Suspicious. I mean, my man's here ain't wrong. I hate to say it. Yeah, my. Von Conrad, do bar bar bar. Well, Mr. Wright, after my voice actor decided to have a, a fucking stroke, what do you think about Mr. Butts's claim he heard after the? Uh, oh my fucking god! 
What do you think about Mr. Butts' claim to the dog? Yeah, don't worry. Larry's not mistaken, you I don't get to have a second. I don't get to have a second try. Oof. Listen, you had like two shots on that. Shut up, leave me alone! I'm assuming you have evidence for this wild claim. Dude, did you not look through the evidence? Show me evidence, uh, show me evidence there was a gunshot before midnight. Nah, I could, I could continue that one. Show me the evidence, is fine. Eh. Look at this photograph! Every time you make me laugh! A There's nothing on the lake in this picture. Just like Larry said, there was nothing on that lake. You're aware of the real issue here. There's no point in nothing that's showing you. This lake's photograph exists at all. What do you mean? Your Honor, this photograph was taken by an automatic camera. That camera was set up to go. Uh -huh. Correct. You're finally getting the best one. Mr. Hart testified that she heard the gunshots after midnight. Are you claiming she was mistaken? Why would this be? I don't know. Don't be fooled, Judge. That car was set to respond to loud. Yes? There's no proof that the loud noise at 1150 was a gunshot. Sorry. Why the witness could have sneezed triggering the cut the blah, 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 blah. triggering the camera. No, it's only set to respond to loud noises. Hmm. Hey, why don't you look clear that night, man? Clear! Well, Mr. Wright, there's no turning back now. Yeah, at any point. Can you prove that the loud noise at 11.50 was indeed a gunshot? Well, first of all, we have Larry's I don't actually remember in this circumstance what you do. I'm sorry if you were expecting hell, but I don't remember. No, well, apparently we're not going off a testimony. Testimony is solid proof, but uh, I know it. I know it's the pistol. Um, it is the pistol. I guess we'll figure that out. 
that out later. Take that! This is my A murder weapon? Phoenix, are you trying to shoot me with a gun? No, sir. Something about this pistol is bothering me. I thought so. Yeah. Oh, so it was. It wasn't. Oh, got it. Got it. I was. I was pissed. So Larry heard the first one, and later on the other heard completely separate shots. Okay, I got it. Jesus Christ, I was mixing it up. Oh wait, now have I realized that you were getting at me too? That third shot was a shot Larry heard just before midnight. <laughs> I get to piece it together as I go. Order, order. Hmm. That would make sense of the evidence we've seen so far. Yeah, it would. However. <laughs> so he's me wondering exactly what did happen that night on the lake. Listen, exactly. I can piece it together in my brain. I can, I can do it. I can bluff my way through. Please, just give me a chance. If this were true, there were two sets of gunshots, separated by 25 minutes. Thank you for the recap, Von Karma. One at 11.50, another at 15 minutes after midnight. Why, I ask you, why? I don't think we have to ask why, apart from, like, this proof that it doesn't have to be Edward that killed the man, because there was a completely different set of gunshots. But you know, we're just gonna breeze past that. Just think of something quick. Alright, I'm thinking. What would be the reason? I know I can just like skip through the dialogue until like, they tell us the reason, but I want I wanna think this through. I want I wanna lawyer through this shit. Um I don't fucking know. Da 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 Stop it! I'm trying to think in the silence, in the contemplate of silence. All I can think of so far is either to create more witnesses or to where it was by different people. What's wrong? Why are you screaming at me? God! I have it! I have it! I had a galaxy break moment, Maya! Huh. Or, no, you know. I don't know either. <laughs> hey, you, you, have, you have to say it right. Uh, exactly. Huh? Yeah, of course I remember. I don't. I don't. What exactly. do you mean? Maya! Yes? What do you mean? Stop! What is this guy going at? Stop it! I, I hate it here. I love how, like, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm like, four steps and going on. I thought Phoenix Wright, this bitch has, like, a galaxy game and it's like, way ahead of me. I have no idea what this is going on. Yeah, I also have a hunch, but I feel like my hunch is wrong. Hey, I mean, is this me? Like, no, 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 are you are you out of your fucking rock? Well, we're gonna go to the ultimate. We don't genuinely know what it is. Am I saying out loud all of these things? <laughs> oh, that's right. Here, let me take out my SMG and shoot everyone in the courtroom. Right, Nick. Slap. Your honor. 
Yes, Mr. Wright, and please stop abusing that pole woman and the table. What do you mean, Mr. Wright? Why do you say words that don't make any goddamn sense? I did do a tisk, it just didn't pick up, but I don't care. So, you finally realize the truth. There can be no other murderer here than Miles Edgeworth himself. <laughs> Listen, Rookie. Take a deep breath and consider the facts. The time of murder, one boat was on that lake. No, no, it could have been the other boat. This was shown by the witness's photograph. The defendant, Ashworth, and the victim, Robert Hammond, were on that boat. No. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. No, we found his body. No, we didn't. It, it couldn't have been him. This, this is a bit of an opinion, I guess. But it could have, it could have been literally anything. I mean, does it really matter at that point? Edgeworth right. killed all men is the point here. Yeah, I'm just saying that, like, one car, car was wrong. That's really fair on that, I suppose. Could have been it could have been me. It could have been you. It could have been my mom. It could have been literally anyone because if this hadn't been the scene of the crime, if it hadn't been the previous gunshot, if he could have just like if someone else could have killed Robert Hammond, thrown his body in the fucking lake, and then I don't know, either gone on the boat themselves or had someone else dead, and then just like. Jump off and be like, oh no, I guess you killed Like, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be under your belt. I rammed myself. Then the gunshot fired on that boat, and Robert Hammond fell into a lake. This is of a shooting was one meter. It couldn't have been suicide. Guilty party has to be the other man on that boat. I admit it is hard to imagine any other possibility. Well, your imagination. Yes, this is soon. Exactly. I think I'm actually going to slow process now. What do you mean by that, Mr. Price? The photographic evidence of the time of the shooting. No, 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 no. That is only one of the shooting. The time stamp on the photo says 0015. Is he shooting the man directly? We don't see him. I'm not sure. Uh, well, a, a gun in this, in this time period would not be able to catch a bullet. Shot on the lake. Yeah, I can't prove that, can I? Fuck it, we're going bluff. It's the only way that Edgeworth can be innocent. It is a completely real possibility, and I'm just, I'm betting my all on this. What? Are you quite mad? No, this is a viable, this is something that could have Explain it with two men on the boat, all.
What? Are you serious? Yes, I am. I was trying. I can't believe I stumbled upon the answer. I don't know if you can tell us what you're doing now. I have a hunch. And I know that you're going to have a space Ludicrous! Right? Tell us the name of the murderer then! Right, it's. Right, it's. I don't fucking know. Actually, I don't know the murderer's name. It could have been anyone. Honestly, it genuinely could have been anyone. To be fun. Like, a genuine. <laughs> You don't know. Well, we've never had anyone else say their fucking name here, have we? Ah! Again, you wasted my time! It's literally the only person we, that we have. Yeah, exactly! This is going down the path, I think. I don't know because he never told us. He was the one who killed Robert Cat. The caretaker of the bunch. Where did he do this? There weren't any boats on the lake bed. What? Well, then where did the murder take place? Without anyone seeing. Objection. Oh god, sorry. <clears throat> Do you have proof that the boat shop was the scene of a crime? Call Larry's testimony, if you will. <laughs> this is fucking... Then that goes out on the lake in a boat searching for something. Right. What happened that night on Gord Lake? You're treating me like a witness now. Please tell the court from the beginning. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I got it. Yes, Your Honor. Nick, are you sure about me? Sorry, my mom came in and she was like, You want to leave the house and go somewhere else because they're going to be having a construction the entire day? And I was like, Mom, I'm like, I'm playing the lawyer game. I have to stay in this hellhole because of the fucking lawyer game. I can't fucking out of this game. Anyways, yeah, I'm sorry. Don't you have it on a laptop? Huh? Isn't this on a laptop? Yeah, but it's gonna take a while for me to, like, take the fucking laptop and the charger and, like, go all the way to, like, a different house. 
Anyway, I said the thing earlier, so I'm not going to repeat myself. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I couldn't hear you because of the, my mom came in. Um, not really, I'm never sure of anything I'm saying. But I think if I start at the very beginning, I take it slow, I might just be able to figure this out. That is also the approach I take to this game. <laughs> just, just try to piece it together. That night, the caretaker Why would he shoot twice? He didn't mean to hit anyone. Sorry, I genuinely need to stop paying attention. No this, Mr. Wright. The moment you run out of explanations is the moment you lose. Why is this all mean? Why doesn't the concept Tell us why the murderer had to fire twice. One of the men on the boat had shot the other. witness from before the boat shop caretaker quickly very well while we are waiting for the caretaker I like to ask Mr. Edgeworth please take the step Edgeworth. You heard what the defense has said. Well, why should you go to the lake that We are, act we are conducting a trial here. I ask you to remain quiet. Who 
Why does it disappear? Is that the photoshop ever? She's got fucking damage. What? What did I do? Find him quickly! You cannot allow him to get away! Mr. Von Karma, your witness has disappeared! Yeah, this is this is not looking great for you, man. Search warrant has already been issued. Damn. Um, very much saying, but I cannot declare a verdict under these circumstances. I will extend the trial until tomorrow, the final day allowed. I requested the police department utilize all its forces to find that witness. Am I understood? Mm. One more thing. Just who is that bookshop caretaker? His identity has become very important to this trial. I want him, and I want to know who he is. Alright. Very well. Court is adjourned. Oh, my God. 